Hola amigos, soy Jane y esto es Fincarte. Bienvenidos. Have a look at this. Earlier this month I purchased some uh, fancy chicken eggs uh, from an online supplier and um, I'm still waiting a couple of weeks now. I had hoped to get them in the incubator in time for the chicks to be hatching while my grandchildren were here but that is now not going to happen. We have never done this before. The eggs that I have ordered are from Fancy Hens. Uh, they're called um, Monuda Hollandesa, uh, which is basically Dutch bobbleheads. <laughs> it's the only way to describe them. Uh, there are no guarantees. The success rate with an incubator is a lot less than it is uh, if you leave the eggs with a mummy hen. We are warming up the incubator and getting to know its foibles and how it works and reading up uh, all the information we need to know while we are waiting on the eggs arriving. Uh, the eggs will need to rest for about 24 hours before they go in because they've been in the post and they've been jiggled around. <laughs> Hopefully they're not scrambled. <laughs> Pointy end down. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a broken egg. Good luck, guys. Today is actually day seven. It says here six, but that's because the first day uh, the counter starts at zero for the first 24 hours. So. When that says six, it's actually seven days. It's day 16. I candled the eggs um, two weeks in, almost 10 days, two weeks in. And that whittled it down to um, seven eggs, one of which I wasn't sure about. And I have just candled them again today. And it doesn't look like there's anything in any of them. Well, apart from one. One looks like it's got something in it. All the others are empty. I don't understand. Anyway, the whole thing has been really stressful. At this point, I am not hopeful that we will get anything out of it. This is actually day 19 of the egg experiment. And sadly, we are down to one egg. At day 18, you are supposed to take the eggs out of the egg turner, uh, which is this thing, uh, disconnect it, and you put the eggs, or in this case, egg, in the bottom of the incubator uh, on a mat. You put a lot more water in underneath so that the humidity goes right up. I'm having trouble keeping the humidity right up. And you watch and wait. I can't tell you how disappointed I am that out of a dozen eggs bought, I have one potential chick. And even though you are not supposed to count your chickens before they hatch. I guess I did. Now we're down to little Billy No Mates there who could be dead. Day 20. Nada. Right now I'm in the bathroom. I don't know why I'm whispering. There's no need for that. The reason I've come into the bathroom is because this is the only room in the house that when I do this, it's totally dark. The reason for that is I am about to candle Billy No Mates to find out 
if he's actually alive or dead. If he was going to hatch, it should have been today. There has been no sign whatsoever. So now I'm just gonna, I'm pretty certain he's dead. I'm gonna check. Here's Billy No Mates. There is a chick in there. It's difficult to see. Oh yes. He's moving. Oh my God, it's alive. Let's get it back. It's alive. Oh my God. It is alive. Whether it's going to be strong enough to get out of the shell or whether I've totally ballsed everything up. I don't know, but he's back in the incubator. I have put more water in. hoping that will encourage little Billy No Mates. <sighs> Anything's possible, I suppose. Getting desperate now. Today is day 22. Uh, Billy should have hatched yesterday. I don't understand why he didn't because I clearly saw he was alive uh, possibly just too weak, I don't know, um, but if that's the case then he's doomed. I'm not quite sure how long you're supposed to wait before um, calling it a day. Uh, that's a very loud hen on my phone. <laughs> Um, one video I saw said twen uh, 25 days. I mean, he may well just be lying in there waiting to die. In case you were wondering, the whole um, eggs in the incubator chick thing was not simply an amusement or an intended amusement for my grandchildren. There was a serious purpose behind it. We have uh, an Americana chicken, one on its own. Uh, we call her Pixie because she is a dwarf-sized uh, chicken um, and she's getting bullied and um, she needs to be away from the full-size hens. Ah, I have found her. She's hiding. Hey, Bigsie. What you doing in there? Hmm? What you doing in there? Now you can see her comb on her head should be much bigger than that. It has been pecked and it's all ragged. Our new young cockerel um, is also causing her problems. Basically, he jumps on her and squashes her. She is simply not big enough. Uh, and he's not full grown yet, so this problem will only get worse. The whole episode of um, trying to hatch some dwarf hens is to give her some 
chums so that we can move them all into their own separate run. What went wrong? I have seen a video uh, on YouTube that uh, was very similar to what happened to us. And this lady did, uh, with every egg she discarded, she did an egg topsy, as in she cracked it open, in order to try and find out why, why the chicks weren't developing. I don't really feel the need to do that. It's a little bit gross. She did this at day 25. And at that point, she found, out of a couple of dozen eggs, she found two chicks were still alive. They're supposed to hatch at day 21. I mean, if uh, they were still alive at day 25, but they were making no effort to get out of the egg, and basically they would have died anyway. So, but what did she learn? I didn't think she learned anything. She still was pretty clueless at the end of it. Having done as much research as I could on the internet, I am leaning towards the fact that the eggs were perhaps not the best in the first place. Uh, there were a couple of mistakes that I made that are actually crucial mistakes and would not have helped. We have had hens that have successfully raised, incubated and raised chicks on several occasions. And the mistakes that I might have made with the eggs in the incubator are no more serious than what the mummy hen does. The mummy hen gets off the eggs on a daily basis so that she can go and have some food and a drink and a dust bath and then she goes and sits back on. Anything from 15, 20, half an hour sometimes, depending upon the temperature. We didn't open up the incubator every day for that length of time. Humidity, humidity worried me greatly because the machine does not seem to hold the humidity well. There is a very successful way of uh, raising chicks without having high humidity until the last three days. And we did increase the humidity on the last three days. I also read that um, you shouldn't move the eggs on the last three days. I definitely did move Billy on during the last three days, including taking him out to candle him. But I have seen mummy hen leap off the eggs during those last three days. And as she leaps off, all the eggs turn or get jostled. So I cannot believe that those mistakes that I made were a really significant factor. Is she thinking of coming? Yeah, my conclusion is that the eggs were old uh, when they arrived. They did not do well in the post. Um, they were pretty much scrambled, as I wondered if they would be. The fertility rate uh, wasn't great on the eggs. Uh, there were a good four or five that were simply not fertilized. The rest simply did not develop beyond about 14 days. They just simply stopped. Only Billy. And the end of this story, did Billy make it? Is he pushing up daisies in the vegetable garden? Well, you'll have to wait to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.